Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IoT Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to show you again how to calculate the longitudinal river profile, but now based only on the native algorithm, so without using uh, plugins except uh, the data plotly plugin. So make sure you have a DEM and a river line vector. We're going to use the points along geometry tool from the processing toolbox. And then we can set the distance, 2000 meters for example, and then we save it to a file. I call it the river sample 1000. Then we run it. And now I want to sample the DEM at those 1000 meter sample points. So I use sample raster values, choose the DEM. Then I give a prefix of the field in the attribute table. And then I'll put file name. River sample the thousand DEM. And there we see the attribute table. And we see the distance and the DEM columns, and that's what we need. So now we can use the data plotly plugin. I use a bar plot, I choose the right layer, choose distance and the DEM values. Change the legend title to 1000 meter sample points. Put a nice X label and a Y label. And then we create the plot. There it is. We can improve the plot a little bit more. So I would like to have the distance in kilometers, otherwise the numbers are a bit large. So divided by 1000 using the expression dialog. And then I modify here the label to distance in kilometers. Change the title to one kilometer sample points. Change the plot title to longitudinal river profile. Then clean the plot canvas and create a plot. And there we have our graph. You can also include these graphs in the print layout. There's a new tool there where you can insert uh, these data plotly graphs if you want to include it in your style maps. If you like these videos, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates. And for more free materials, go to IHG Delft OpenCourseWare at uh, gisopencourseware.org.